Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. I, I, I love that good music is so vulgar sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, we are back on the Black Print. This is episode five. I'm J Five here with Josh P's. Josh P's in the building. What's the uh, what's the with the AKA? This what's week? the AKA this week? Um, shit. Since we're gonna get into an early festival, P. There's a baby outside here. Yeah, you hear that? Getting his ass whipped. Uh, <laughs> we are back, of course, and we are joined also by our producer, the man on the man on the uh, behind the mic, the man behind the boards, my man MC. We can call you. We can call you MC. That, that's that's easier for me. Is that cool, MC? I think that works. I think that works very well. You could even um, you could even keep it uh, government. I'm not I'm not too ashamed of the government. No, ain't no ain't no government, man. You know, see, we, ain't no <laughs> government. Ain't no government. We keep toppling government. You yeah. see us out here. <laughs> <laughs> We they, we were here with MC our our, our you, you know you you've been doing a you know you've been doing a great job brother like everyone seems to seem to like you last episode so we brought you back that's good <laughs> no that's good you know I think it's I think it's so important to make sure that we have good energy coming into these new avenues that we have here on new podcasts and on Patreon as well um, as I have been producing I wanted to make sure that I did not forget this week's introduction per Josh. This episode is dedicated to niggas who got through a bad breakup listening to Emotionally Scarred by a Little Baby. Josh, you want to speak on that? No, that was, this is the Patreon episode? Is this it? I mean, we can, like, we can go through it. That's the Patreon intro. We can, well, already fucking up this week. Nah, see, well, we, well, that's actually a good segue to just say that, you know, of course, we have the, the Black Print Patreon. It's been, it's been moving, man. We, been get, we, we got a little, bit of, a little yeah. bit of money in there. We got a little bit of dollars All in there right. for more content for you guys. And uh, we'll get to, you know, the Content shout and comb. Yeah. <laughs> more, for more content and comb than your song. Oh, man. But, but before we get into to all of that and the housekeeping stuff, we just want to say, like, you know, thank you to everybody, of course, who listened to the last episode. We got so much really good responses. Of course, we, we got hit up by, by Netta Dobbins, who, oh, yeah. who did that fantastic Ad Week article. Like, that that really blew up, and I thought it was really... Uh, yeah, that was awesome. I mean, it's, it's dope when, you know, you're kind of bringing up issues that are, are important to us. Yeah. And, you know, people are noticing and being like, oh, shit, they identify, and it's a, it's building a community. Yeah. Like, I, I'm really tuned into what she's got going on now, and looking to have her on the show soon, too, so... Yeah, I'm, I, I have to... If she's listen, I'm so sorry. I admit the email... I just it's just been busy. I I got a I got a busy week coming. I'm about to yeah. be out of the country oh, in man. a couple of days. Be out of here. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to Barcelona and and Josh as I came in they said, "Oh, you're going at the right time." Yeah, yeah. I'm no, like, he's, he's going at the same time as Spanibus, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest uh, <laughs> cannabis <laughs> conference in the world Sp- is in Spanibus? Spain. Spanibus, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think I'm saying it right, but um I'm probably not, you know. But I got some partners who are going out there, and they're like, "Yeah, this is this is the dates they gave me." When you tell me the dates, I'm like, "Hold up, I think somebody at your company knows." And they're like, "Ah, yeah, uh, see, I think know, that's that's that, the plan." Hey, they're not they're not saying we can't do it, so yeah. <laughs> they're doing it right. Whoever planned this party is very very smart. Shout out to them. But uh, so now that I'm, we're definitely going to be there. Of course, we 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 try and give you guys the best of the best, and we're so glad that you guys are joining us. But of course, we do have a Patreon that you can join for just five dollars down if you just go to uh, patreon.com slash blk print uh blk prnt you know we we got some new we got some new members man we're getting a lot of members yeah yeah then you can hear about that um that episode that intro what's the intro mark <laughs> this episode i want to hear, hear more about this intro <laughs> because um i think that's going to be a, it's going to be a story that's well worth the five absolutely yeah. and of course if you if you uh, tap in this week we've got b-sides which we're, which we're recording of course but the q and a's that you guys gave us on twitter and instagram this week we're going to be answering a lot of questions ask us anything so uh shout out to everybody that sent us questions but shout out to people who actually joined uh who, who joined us this week we got people like andrew bosofem Shout out to him. He's in a black print tier. So oh. he's he's ready. Oh, yeah. He's, he's ready to ask up. some questions. Yeah, he's yeah, ready to yeah. ask some questions to us. Uh we got Van, Van, Van Red, of course, of the Black Variant podcast, him and X. Shout out to Van. We got Ron Ryan as well. Black print tier, of course. We got Dion again to you. Yo, Dion, he's the social media manager for the A Show. He is, you know, 
he's been ready for the show. So he's definitely okay. tapped into this okay. one. Uh, I am Jay Brandon. Shout out to you. Kel Lacey. Run Kel that. He's the, he's the homie. He sent some really bomb questions this week, too. So we're going to get to some of his questions as well. Right. And Douglas Burchill. Uh, as well thank you for joining the patreon we're, we're growing every month yeah. bro and that is the that's the beautiful thing about this thing man progress i, I think I, I don't think you saw it at first josh but now you now oh, you're no, seeing I've it i've seen it from the beginning bro i've been at the vision that's why i'm here <laughs> <laughs> but of course that that is that's that's where we're at. so we got a lot to talk about today yeah. a whole lot to talk about but we're in, we in a batman world josh Y'all in the Batman world. <laughs> it's funny. I ain't even seen the Dark Knight. I'm like, uh, wait a minute. That's the one with the Joker, wait, right? Wait. That's the one with the Joker well, going to the right. stairs and shit. This nigga's Stop. Is that the one with the Joker? Stop. Yes. Uh, okay, look. I, I tried to watch it. No, ain't that one called The Joker? No, The Joker's is a, a different movie. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I tried to watch The Joker, and I was just like, eh, that's shit. Is, is it that you just, you, you, like, you just not fucking with Batman, or is it You know it what just... it is? It's all the superhero one. I don't watch none of the little super... And I used to watch X-Men when I was younger. Yeah. The cartoon and all yeah. that shit, but I don't watch the live action movies. It just don't hold me. The whole universe and all this shit. Well, I don't Batman like the, not in that one. No, he's right? not in that. No. Yeah. This, well, this movie in particular is outside of that. So it's okay. that's why I would say like if you want to go check it with out. It, I might go check it out. Everybody, I'm just saying. Yeah, the whole world's watching. Yeah, like they, everyone's fucking with it. Like yeah. even people that don't fuck with like the, like me, I don't fuck with like the MCU stuff and all that stuff. I like this because it's 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 completely all tour based. So the director made his own okay. thing with this. It's not like. It's jokes and all this other shit. Yeah. It's, it's a real movie. I'm gonna check it out. It's a I'm, real movie. I mean, I, I like Batman. I like the concept of Batman. He ain't got no weapons, really. He just, or he got weapons, but he ain't got no powers. Just, <laughs> Batman yeah. really just a nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, there he it goes. He has the powers of those uppercuts, boy. I tell saying, you that. Yeah, like he just, yeah, he be training and shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> he got like, the gadgets. Like, oh my god, crazy. But, but I, I saw, I saw it twice this weekend. And you could actually hold on, man. You could actually whip Batman's ass. <laughs> no, I'm not none. I don't you think might you could be do able that. to, Josh. I want you to go. This is this is almost as ridiculous as Twitter saying they could beat up a gorilla. <laughs> a gorilla. Okay. It's not. It's Batman. He ain't got nothing. He Bro, got just you might get some hits off. You ain't winning. Get some hits off. I get some hits off. It might be over. <laughs> You see UFC fights, you get a hit off. Batman you saying you be two piece Batman right now? Like in the I'm movie, just saying, if in I the, train, I keep the, training. I'm training right now. In, in the movie, Batman got this thing in his eye that lets you see like who you are. He could profile like to, to see. It, it would say he Josh Pease. Profile. <laughs> Not like that, but it's like he can show. Yeah, he can show like you who that. you are. He can show you who you are. And I bet you his shit would be like Josh Pease. High right now, whoop his ass. Oh no, nah. oh, Josh P's on the Fidels. That's crazy. You know what? Easy. Pro, I gotta watch this movie now. You trying to make a profile? He's not pro. It, I said it wrong. All right, but clearly it, it's like he can show you like if you work for the if you work for the police the police department, he can say, "Oh, you corrupt." And it, it's part of the movie. You gotta see it. See how you gonna hate on some shit you, know, you ain't you never seen from before. Eye, little glasses, the Google right, glasses. See, the Google glasses. I'm, more, I'm more concerned about the Dark Knight part. Like you have seen Dark Knight before, right? Like. Heath he Ledger, hasn't. Christian Bale. It's, uh, you know what? You know, I might have I might have seen it on a plane. This is when I watch most of these movies. <laughs> on a plane. <laughs> I might have those type of movies. I, I might have watched on a plane because I remember that's the one when it's like um you're not born in the dark. I can't. That dude, was the yeah. that was the next one. That bro. was the next. Uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my thing here, man. I don't know, man. This nigga Josh said, well, maybe if Delta got it, I said, well, you know what? <laughs> this this Batman is a kind of unless you're going like across this this country, it's it's not you're not gonna finish it if you see. How long that. is it? It's about two fifty five. Yeah, man. Go to New York. Miami. That's that's easy. Well, that's like six hours. Yeah. That's, that's six hours. But the thing is, do you really get the most out of like I can't watch shit on airplane. I can barely like I didn't watch some good movies on the airplane. Really? <laughs> that's the one where, <laughs> where the cool kids get shot. The cool oh fucking uh widows. Widows. Widow. The the one where the cool kids get shot <laughs> is a wild one. Because that's like Cause. such an inconsequential part of that movie. But that's how I remember it. <laughs> I will say though, as you talk about movies on a plane, I actually did watch one movie on a plane without like any audio. I didn't have headphones. I didn't want to get the plug in joint. So wow. I actually watched what? this movie completely silent. And it actually did make the movie a little bit cooler. It's called, um, oh my God. It's, it's called Searching. Was it subtitles? No, nah, there were no there were no subtitles, which was the craziest the fucking fuck? thing. Uh, it's a movie with, oh my God. Uh, what's his John name? Cho, John Cho was in it. And yes. he's, he's looking John for his Cho. daughter. How did you watch? It was it's like yeah. it, most of it's like through cell phone, though. So it was like, all it was all cell phone, social media centric. Like I feel like watching the movie without audio was just as good as watching it huh. with audio because essentially, well, I don't want to give the whole movie away, but daughter's gone. 
He's trying to bring her home, but all he has is her social media. So imagine you have to go through her Facebook, her Instagram, so that, Twitter, that's the, that, all of that, her blogs. That sounds see. like uh, that sounds like what what women do today. I have to let you know, MC. <laughs> is that what women do today? <laughs> this is, yes, that is what women do today. But also, this is the weirdest thing I've heard. You watched the whole movie silently? I swear to God, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Were you flying to the 1920s? <laughs> I swear to God, it, it felt weird, but it was the coolest. It was different. I don't recommend this with every single movie possible but searching uh-uh. you can watch it on mute so I that lets me it. know everything you know <laughs> <laughs> that i don't need to even pay attention to anything but if you guys haven't seen it the batman is the best movie i've seen in quite some time mm. it's a it's a real movie shout out to matt reeves and uh, and that whole crew over there at wb um but we gotta talk about uh we gotta get into to concerts and festivals it's yeah. springtime <clears throat> we're, we're we're a month away from coachella is yeah. that is it What's the hype level on that? Oh, I ain't really. I, I'm hearing people talk about it. I haven't even thought about it really. Damn, Coachella's right around the corner. Yeah, it's a month, literally a month away. Damn, yeah. Now I'm, that we stand, yeah. I, it's. I don't know. People. I don't know if people are really ready to go back outside. They're kind of like going out a little timid. Yeah, they. they, <laughs> they <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> like the people are going out, but they're not like. Yeah. Is Coachella a bridge too far for something? Like not for like not for young niggas, no, but for like older people, like in your thirties and up. Like I think it's definitely kind of like, uh, yeah. I can see it if it's somebody I really want to see. But one thing that we we definitely saw this week, uh, and these tickets actually go on sale this week, is the Rolling Loud Miami 2022 July 22nd to the 20 uh, 24th at Hard Rock Stadium. They're back home where, yeah. where they were, where, they, where they're usually at. This lineup's kind of crazy. They killed this one. <laughs> they, they, so. they, they killed this one. I think the only person they didn't get was Yeet, which... Yeet seems to be kind of playing it, playing it kind of safe. Yeah, which is good. Playing I it think, smart. You, know, you got a new artist. You got to do that. But I think this yeah. was the crowd. He could have came out and owned, even if he could just, he could have just. He could have had his Gunna uh, OOK moment. Yeah. At, uh, rolling. When, when Gunna yeah. did OOK Rolling Loud, I said, it's over. Oh, it's, it's that's it. Yep. He's, he was a star at that point. Yeet definitely could have could have had that. But I also respect that he's not going to do that so quickly. Like, you probably won't find him, like. In the, in the freshman list or some shit like that, he's probably playing it super safe yeah. this year. Where he's just like, I'm not trying to do a bunch of appearances. I don't even think I seen an interview for this dude. Uh, I seen one he did with uh, our generation music. Yeah, shout out to Hakeem over there. They do Good interviews dude. now. Yeah, yeah, they've been doing interviews on YouTube. They and the dude Hakeem killing it. I think yeah. he, he came from like the No Jumper lineage. Yeah, and then uh, he went out on his own, started doing some shit, and he's he's been killing it for real. He's he's like an A&R, Victor Victor now too. So. Oh wow, yeah, congrats on that. He's killing it. Um, uh, this lineup. We want to start from Friday and go up. Yeah, yeah. Shocked that Playboy Cardi got bumped off for Ye. But Ye's the Ye's headline. What does that look like? What is Ye at? Man, I don't what even is know. Ye at Rolling Loud? We ain't even heard Donda <laughs> 2 yet. What does yeah. that sound like? <laughs> like, I, I, I haven't heard it yet. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard it legally yet. I don't but, have a STEM player. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not. I, I wasn't really. I mean, I feel like the hype level for that is probably less than Don the two because you can't really get it. Like not a lot of yeah. people are even talking about it because you can't really get it. I think they said that his Spotify streams went up because I feel like the people who couldn't listen to it just went listen to his old shit. shit. Yeah, if he does an old shit, I guess that's crazy. I mean I don't the kids <clears throat> even know the songs. That's what I'm worried about, right? Like what era of Kanye does he start it? Because it's like, yeah, you could do college dropout era stuff and you could play the hits, but it's like, you know, what where is like he would you say that he's he's ubiquitous enough that he's kind of just like a legacy kind of artist now. He can just kind of play the hits and not really worry about that yeah yeah i think so i don't know man this i'm looking at this lineup like i'm just money man is that an nft uh yeah. <laughs> tutorial and not a performance what's hey, money man doing money man fire <laughs> i'll fuck with money man uh we also got Lil dirk on that friday don toliver Lover. two chains Lil yachty three, three six mafia three six mafia is uh is yeah. is a it's, it's it's no you know who my favorite person on friday is i just oh. see this name i just josh just flex. flex he just <laughs> flex. <laughs> just <had> to flex. <laughs> josh, <laughs> Josh just did this. You know, you're buff over here. For no reason. I gotta hear this. My name. motherfucking boy, A B, Pitt, not the palace. Antonio Brown is on Friday. Niggas no, don't even know. Even... Is yeah, he, is, is, what, what is he playing? Two o'clock on the on the uh We gonna see. He's he he kind of high up. Bro, A B is above some names. Like he's, he's above a... Pressa. I mean <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I B. Is it... He's above. He's above. <laughs> he's above. Little darky, bro. Like 
What? He's above Kayla for real. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> He's above Amaretta because she not from Atlanta, or <laughs> she from Atlanta? Is she? I don't know. My- <laughs> Do we ever confirm? Oh, what's yeah, her, yeah, she's what's from her Atlanta. She She's be. from Atlanta. She's from, she can't say that. She 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 can't say not from Atlanta. How you feel about that song? By the way, guys. <laughs> I, yeah. I, sorry, I, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that song. I yeah, think, but I think Lotto. <laughs> She, I feel like she dissed Lotto, then Lotto got on the track and dissed her. <laughs> but, like Lotto's <laughs> shit was so crazy, and then when I got when she gets to like Migos not from Atlanta, nah, Sierra see, not from Atlanta, yeah, I was I, like, yeah. I don't think people caught it. She was saying like, if you saying I'm not from Atlanta, then these people ain't from. Oh, Atlanta. okay, okay. She okay, hit it with okay, a question okay, mark okay. at the end of it. Yeah, like yeah. She, <laughs> she, it was like she put so in front of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean that song had. Atlanta fucking and a civil war. Oh man, it's still going on shit. on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see that. This guy, Cyrus sent this this TikTok. Shout out to Cyrus. He's a he's a patron. Is always sent a TikTok of a dude basically playing the song and saying, How are you gonna let Lotto get on this song and say this shit about you? This is lame as hell. And I was like, that's really the kind of general consensus of it is that you saying you basically dividing everybody, but then you you trying to get on a song with somebody that's that's you know, that you basically dissed. That's funny though. I mean Run it up. The streams. I, I seen Sierra just posted a video to the park. She strutting and dressed to it. I'm like, yeah, this might be a little moment She's, for Atlanta. And shout out to Amaretta. She was on that. And listen, don't judge me. I still watched it. She was on that season 11 hip hop last season. Oh, man. And you and Anwar Carrot <laughs> watching 11 hip hop. Shout out Anwar watching 11 hip hop with me, bro. For oh, real. Like, and not the strongest season, but I thought that she was a standout because there was a lot of, there. she had a lot to her story. And I was like, I would love to kind of hear her music. There she wasn't a rap. lot of it. Yeah, yeah. she can, she can nah, really she rap. Can yeah, so yeah. like now she has some. She's got kind of got some context if she does decide to go out to the show to be top billed over like all the older people that are on that show. Did you tired of watching, bro? I For guess. real. <laughs> that was the song. She made a little <laughs> gimmicky ass song. So Saturday seems to be on on this Rolling Loud card. It seems to be like the regular Rolling Loud list where it's. I mean, yeah. Lil Uzi not main eventing? Like, he usually main event. It don't matter if Man. he don't got no music out or not. He usually main events anyway. He does, uh, but it's I like... Know. I don't even know how Lil Uzi in front of Gunna. Like, Gunna's... Yeah. Man, I'm damn near for, like, Gunna main event. Yeah, like, that's I'm true. just like, man. But you know Future gonna bring out Gunna to do Push and P. Like, that's yeah, that's that's yeah. that's simple. That's easy. Unless he's all the way on the lean stage and has to drive over to the loud nah, stage. Nah, they'll figure it out. Is that <laughs> <laughs> I just think this shit is so childish, the stage names, bro. I mean... I, Monster it's, Energy it's Stage. It's just funny that the thing is called Rolling Loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I wonder if WWE is gonna be there this year. That was a that was a moment last year. You got a city girls on this on this on the Saturday card. Yep. Kevin Gates, Amine, Amine. Uh, he's on there as well. Two C Nardo. That's a that's a huge. I don't know who you would even. You got to bounce around for that one. Action Bronson, strange. <laughs> that's a strange one. <laughs> Ace Hood. Saucy Santana to me Ace is Hood? The, yeah. Ace Hood is that's interesting. I I mean I haven't heard any of his new music. I can't judge, but um, I will say that I hope he plays also hard. Okay. That, that's, that's what I would But Saucy Santana to me is the winner Yeah for That's a good one No Saucy Santana came out At the Summer Walker show I was at And killed it <laughs> Shout out to him Like he killed it Like literally Came out Performed like three songs And literally Had the place on fire The whole time So are, are you Are you Would you Hold on Let me let me ask this After I get to the last night of it The only person That could knock Lil Baby Out of this main event slot For Sunday Is Kendrick Lamar Sunday yeah. People are thinking that this means something. The new music, but yeah, so other yeah. people are thinking it doesn't mean anything. I don't know. I kind of, I, I, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I can't call it, but it, that's Kendrick just did Dan Vegas, and he didn't have any music yeah. out. So I'm like, yeah. I think it's probably the same thing. Like he's one of the artists that could just go out there and just. He got hits all day. You yeah, pe- people are back outside, yeah. and he's like, "I got to go back outside too." You got little baby on that night. Kodak Black was having like a really good Man, year. Kodak Black he's having oh, a good year. Whew, that's gonna be amazing. <clears throat> he's having a good year, even yeah. though he's he's he's. Uh, has you seen that video of the guy rapping for him? I did. He was just like, <laughs> he's just like just looking off into the, <laughs> the space. Kodak, man, I'll I be I'll be praying for Kodak sometimes. That <laughs> album is so dark. It is, but it's like it's good. But it's like, damn, bro. You, you can't shoot your gun without going to. You can't get to the studio without shooting your gun. He said that right before you go. Right before you go, you got to shoot the gun, bro. bro. Uh, Baby Keem, of course, with that makes that that yep. that mixes with the synergy with Kendrick. He'll probably come out during Kendrick's set. Uh, Trippy Red, who just signed a thirty million. <laughs> I said, yeah. It's, that, whole, that whole rollout was really weird, but shout out to Trippy, man. So, uh, which of these nights? 
uh, would you if you were to go to this? Which which of these nights are you going to? Man, that's that's a hard one. I think I'm a big Gunner fan. I want to see Kodak. Like it's it's between Friday and or it's between Saturday and Sunday for me. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's a hard one. I think maybe. Damn, I'm just looking because it's like it's not like I seen Kendrick this or late like last year. I would love to see Future. But Future got to perform the right songs. But 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 thing with Future is that like he can't do that with no new music. Some new music got to come out. Yeah, that's true. Because I mean, nah, Future. Like I think like the headliners here. This is what Rolling Loud did. They're like, we got three headliners yeah. that got catalog. Right. They can go perform anything, or they can go and do one out one of their albums and make yeah. it really special. Yeah. Like they just, I think that's kind of how they thought about their headliners for that. I so, mean. It's hard for, for, like, when I start to think about the days I want to go, I start looking at, like, the undercard, like, Lil Baby, Kodak, ESTG, Currency. That's Sunday. That's Sunday looking nice. What too. does the ESTG Man. show look like? I'm just does, he zip the de- <laughs> does he zip the dead serious hoodie down, like, in the cool gangster video? <laughs> it's the, that was the illest introduction to it. Yeah, I wish artists, like, just took their shows, rappers took their yeah. shows a little bit more serious because their music be so cinematic and just, it's real art. Yeah. It's like, if y'all took that, as serious as this live show. Yeah. That oh visual. God, bro. Like, I need to see niggas doing, like, what Snoop and Dre was doing yeah. an Up and Smoke tour. Like, coming out of the liquor store, lowriders on stage. Like, yeah. niggas need to take it there. Especially on them headlining slots. Like, take yeah. it there. Like, I, I feel like ESTG, when he did that, of course, like, he had the verse of the song to me. But then, like, the visual of the video made it even better. Where I was just like, yo, this is, like... This could have just been his shit. Like, it yeah. felt like it was his song at the end. And I'm like, yo, like, for someone who's put together just a really good body of work so far, he needs to have, like, that breakout moment. Like, I want to see him headlining one of these. I mean, he got to get a record. He got to get a record where it's like, yeah. just. That's, that's not, uh, yeah. that's not, I'm going to put you in a trunk. Yeah. <laughs> and fentanyl references. He can't yeah. do that no more. Uh, so the, the other festival we want to talk about, Dreamville Festival just got announced this week as well. Yeah. A lot of shit going down April 2nd and 3rd. Uh, North Carolina. Love this lineup. Saturday and a Sunday lineup. You got Blast. Oh, this is on Saturday. You got Blast. Uh, Five year old foreign who's not doing drill anymore. So I'm interested in seeing what that's going to look like. Uh, Earth Gang, Jaru and Ashanti, JID, uh, Kalani, Lil Baby, Loot, Mariba, uh, Michaela Gene, Moray, Wizkid. That's a crazy, it's that's crazy, a crazy lineup. Yeah, that's a crazy lineup. Like, that's a crazy one. But then the, the Sunday just goes so crazy. The sun, like, Sunday's crazier than that. So, of course, you got J. Cole on Sunday. You got Ari Lennox, Boz, uh, Bia, Kaz, Money Back, yo. <laughs> Larry, Larry June, Rico Nasty, <laughs> Wale. Shout out to Wale. Uh, T-Pain. And the, the biggest thing is the uh, the DJ Drama Gangsta Grill set with Lil Wayne, Jeezy, and T.I. How you get these niggas to come in Bruh, and do oh, that shit? Man, I can't, man, that is about to be epic. Uh, you know, shout out to Rotation, live streaming that on Amazon Music. So are you going to be watching Mania and live streaming that when we're, we're uh, Mania? I will. Okay. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But <laughs> that shit's about to be amazing. Uh, yeah. Shout out to this Dreamville lineup, man. This is a good one. I think that, that Gangsta Grill set is just, I need to be a tour. Nigga, what's happening? Like, yeah. Yeah. That shit's amazing. Uh, I, 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 I wonder what. Oh, no. Go ahead. I wonder what um, Wayne will perform. If he performs Canon, that makes it worth the price of entry oh, right there. Oh, absolutely. Come He's got to do Canon. Yeah, and Sports to. Center. Sports Center is just. So many classics and him, then Jeezy, like, come on, bro. Trap- Je- Jeezy needs to come out with Trapper Die intro. Yeah, he got to. Do well, niggas even know what that is? Like, Jeezy, no, honestly, Jeezy sets are pretty good. He knows how to, like, yeah. I've, I've been to a couple of Jeezy shows. I'm like, oh, he he know what to perform. <laughs> Jeezy is a Jeezy is a Virginia legend. He comes to Norfolk, Virginia, my hometown, every single year. Wow. The the I think the last time he went, somebody got killed at a show though. So I don't, oh, I, but I think he's been back since then. But he's all he was always in Norfolk. I've seen Jeezy at least twice. <laughs> and since since I lived in Virginia, he does know how to put on a show. Um, but if it's if it's like trap or die, and and he does like some of his like I am the street dream shit, uh, can't be in a snowman shit, yeah. like that'll be crazy. Ti wasn't really like the gangster grills guy though. Yeah, he had the one um uh, down down with the king. The king. He's gonna good. diss little flip. Hey, fuck it, road. <laughs> I would fuck it. I, you know what I would like Ti to come out and do a stand up set. Oh no! If he came out doing stand up <laughs> sound, I'd be like, oh, this is well worth the, this is well worth it. Oh no! And also, the a f- great thing about this festival Sunday night is the same night as the Grammys. Yeah, it goes up for a couple of awards. If he wins, this is like that's big, <laughs> this but is a big celebration. But it also shows like Grammy, you pushed your shit back and you pushed it into an era, an area yeah. where no one's gonna give a shit about the show. And it's just like I mean, you know, people starting to give less about the award too. So it's like it's just a different like feeling. Like it ain't it, it ain't a. 
it's not a secret how hip hop has been treated by the Grammys, right. and just how hip hop is reflected in the Grammys. So mm. it's like it's almost a sign of that. Like you know, we just like you know, we got money to make. We got bigger things to do. Yeah. Uh, so that that's 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 festival lineups here. But yeah. you, I, talk, I talked about Lil Baby in uh, Dreamville on a Saturday lineup. You had a tweet that said, "Tell Lil Baby we're ready." Hey man, is it time for Lil Baby album? Yeah, I was listening to my turn the other day, and I'm just like, yo, like. Lil Baby got it. And I've heard some snippets here and there. And I'm like, oh, okay. This is what Baby working on. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So, man, I think it's time, man. Like, I, And I think he, you know, I think in this time that he's been away, yeah. he's kind of got a new bounce, a new flow. Like, yeah. I even heard him on, like, the uh, Nicki records. And it's yeah. like, all right, it's a little different. It's not the same Baby we've been hearing. So, I, I think. I'm, uh, I'm ready. I think it's time for new Lil Baby music. I want to see what he what 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 like what era he's gonna be in like just fashion wise and shit. Like right now he's at Paris Fashion Week and he's dressed like Batman. I saw him with there. this like jacket on with this like scarf, the puffer <laughs> scarf across his face. It was like him and this girl. I'm like, hey, I see you. I see the vision, bro. I see it. He's he's like, I'm trying, bro. He's like the trap. He's trying to be like the trap. Uh, Jay Z and Beyonce, him, him and Jada Wade. Jay- <laughs> bro, I went on her her TikTok. And she, he's not on there often, but like when he's on there, she, they do like dance stuff. And one of them is like he does like this dance routine. She's like he learns so well. There's some shit like the caption was like, Wait, it was he, little he baby? Learned, yeah, little babies out there. He's like oh, he learns so so it. quick. I'm like, bro, everything he does is like the like one percent of effort that his body <laughs> has. <laughs> he will give that to you. <laughs> I gotta go watch this. But I'm like, the, what's the what is the rest of the 99 percent of little babies like actual trying? What does it look it's like? Raps, man. What does little baby running look like? <laughs> <laughs> like what is that? What is that? What does that do? Because you see her running in the uh, in the, the uh, fifty five hundred degrees video no. with ESCG. <laughs> <laughs> he ran across the screen real quick. Oh my! But I, I'm, I'm like, bro, uh, like everything about him is just it's it's almost too cool to a point where it just looks like he's just sleepy. Hey and you know, it, it's it's that's how he does it. That's how he works. Um, let's talk about beef, man. Let's talk about beef, man. Um, in between the two weeks <laughs> since we talked to everyone last, if you if you get if you're um if you're if you're listening to us without Patreon, uh, young boy never broke again. Why why be yeah. why be better? Why be better? Why be better? <laughs> Put out a song called "I Hate Young Boy," where he dissed everybody. Everybody, <laughs> Boosie. I'm like they diss Boosie. Boosie's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he dissed everybody. He's, he he takes shots at, at Lil Durk, uh, India, Gucci, King Von, a lot of people. Yeah. Streamers, Apple, <laughs> Apple. <It's> like, <laughs> like like what? YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. Uh, base, brother. This this has really kind of sparked a, a, a lot of shit. I think Lil Durk had put out a song where. It could be construed yeah. that he was saying some things I about hate rap beef so much, man. Because it's like, uh, like it's just like it's so fake. Like you from Atlanta, you from or not even from Atlanta, you from New Orleans or yeah. Baton Rouge. Yeah, you're from Chicago. Like y'all beefing because of what? Like crossing paths. And I get the whole Von and Quando situation, but it's just like it's not a real situation. Like that shit was damn near an accident. Like, yeah, in real life, that shit could have happened, and niggas could have been like, "Sorry," and it could have been what it was. Right. But in the rap world, there's so much ego. It's like, bro, what? Like that was literally an accidental death. Like, yeah. Like, and it's just like, fuck. Like, it, it, rap ego takes that shit to the next level. And then you have situations like this. Yeah. Now you got YB just <clears throat> in Utah on house arrest <laughs> making diss songs, and niggas is responding, and it's like, what? Like, so there there was an article that came on a complex. You know, I give complex a lot of shit, but I really like uh, Andre G. He used to work at Up Rocks. I did a, I did some stuff with Up Rocks um, okay. a couple years ago. Really smart guy, really like, you know, really in tune with a lot of stuff going on. He made an article in Complex called Lil Dirk versus NBA Young Boys More Than Rap Beef. Uh, quite a lengthy article. Just kind of, if you didn't know, like, I didn't know all of the specifics with the beef, yeah. like where it started, who was who, like, who are all these, like, because there's a, to, to me, this beef is like, it was a bunch, it, it kind of reminds me of, I'm not saying this is the same thing, but like Jay Z and Nas in that other people started this beef. Yeah, it's so like, stupid. It's like, <laughs> It kind of starts, I, I, well, from what I'm on now, I haven't read this article, but it's like Fredo Bang and Young Warrior beefing. Yeah. Fredo did a song he with saw, Because he saw someone, uh, I, I guess, Vaughn, he, said, he says it here, he says, Vaughn and Quando were former friends who reportedly fell out over Vaughn being seen with Young Boy's ex. And he, and he adds, this is the, pe- the kind of petty discrepancy that could have easily been talked through. But yeah. instead, tragedy happened, and the longer these two proud, grieving men 
will their power, and he's talking about NBA and, and Dirk against each other, the higher the chances that more violence could occur, which is true. I mean, yeah. this is essentially over a misunderstanding, and I'm pretty sure, like, I, I, I see this all the time, too, on, on YouTube. It's like, and it's never as succinctly put like in this article, huh. have you seen those those YouTube accounts where it's like the real story behind oh, yeah, the swamp stories? Yeah, and all the little yeah, I watch all them oh, shit. Always a white you nigga know doing funny? it. No, it's always a white. <laughs> yeah, it's always some 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 other. But <laughs> to the point, it's funny. I've talked to actual like rappers who are like in the streets, quote unquote, and from different cities, and they said they watch those to know what's going on. Wow, and it's crazy because some of it should be so inaccurate. Like if you just know, but. It's yeah, them, them just are so popular now. It's crazy. Like people love that shit. It's like, like um, it's like tragedy primers. It's like before the, before yeah. you know how to get into this, here's a primer on what to expect. But the thing that kills me about those is those just, those videos start the beefs. Like it don't even be real beefs. <laughs> those videos are created, and then a nigga might see a clip. He's like, oh, I didn't even see this. But now yeah. it's just crazy, man. And, and I feel like for someone like Lil Durk, who already has like so many things going against him, man. cases and stuff like that, that we've heard. You know, he gets so many looks, so many, you know, big songs. He was on Drake's album, Morgan Whalen, the country yeah. guy fucks with him, a lot of stuff <laughs> going on. And it's like this to me could be this meaningless, ridiculous beef could be the thing that stops him from really yeah, getting invited is, to say. Yeah. yeah, the streets is not like it's crazy. These rappers kind of it's like a way to get out the streets, but then they just get pulled back into it on, yeah. some, on some industry shit. And it's like, why do you want to be in the industry streets? That's it's the worst streets to be in. Yeah. And something just feels different about it. I feel like. Back in like I, 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 I'm aging myself here. Back in my day, <laughs> like these beefs were like they, they they I hate this. I really I'm not trying to sound old here, but it's like it's just, these just beefs just seem different. It just seemed like more like senseless and, well, and stupid. Now because it's like the internet, and you can have yeah. like you know you go on live and you know a comment might say oh some funny shit and then you react to that yeah slide for Dirk or slide for Vaughn <laughs> whatever they be saying it's like it's just crazy man like it's the internet's really fucked the game up I was thinking about this in just all aspects of everything like yeah. the internet and cameras everywhere yeah. like it just made life and everything so different and this is one of these uh, reactions to it now I, I mean I think I even as MC like I'm like what does this shit start from like and you were even just like it started from this and this. It's like, what is this? This seems like it's like it's like wrestling type shit. Yeah, I started. I started Extra. thinking about like the early blog days of rap beef back when like everybody was getting their internet access and all you have was like a YouTube account. You could upload your own stuff. I remember Joe Budden and Saigon was a silly rap beef. Yeah, uh, I remember Ransom going to Jersey and slapping um uh, <laughs> Joe who Budden. Was who was it? Oh no no no, 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 no Ransom, it wasn't. Ransom it was, it was slapped like one Joe Budden. It was like one of those family cousin. members. I think that was, that was like one of the early that was, early uh, members. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. the. It was go get that nigga. And yeah yeah. <laughs> 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 that was that was the go get that nigga. <laughs> then he said, did he, didn't he say some like mafia shit? Buffalo or some shit? Like, <laughs> it's up like he's Tony Soprano. He did, the, he, he did the surprise. He did like the ransom shit was so stupid. Like that was I remember I was on I was on SOHH.com back in the day. Oh my god! There was a dude. There was a dude that had a username. Go get that nigga, and he had, he had, he had a picture. Of Joe Budden's cousin, that was world star like cert like yeah that was that was yeah, the was thumbnail. A, <laughs> he slapped the shit because the guy opens the door. Yeah. He's like, can't y'all just settle this in like a more like respectful way? Bop, make it. Go get that nigga. And then he like he put, he shuts the door. Man. But now that you bring up World Star, it could be World Star too. Think of um, think of the Chopper Suit video. That was a beat oh, that went yeah. straight to yeah, World Star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, I'm telling you, cameras and the internet just made the game crazy, and now it's like. It's just 10 times worse now because I think, like, before it was like, okay, we're doing this for attention. Like, Chop mm-hmm. the Suit, we're, we're making this video for attention. Like, the dude, Kit Ransom, they made that video for attention. Yeah. Now you got everybody just taping everything. Yeah. Riding the car with guns. <laughs> just, uh, like, oh, where they at? Like, it's just like, we taping any and everything now. Like, we just, it's crazy the way the kids are these days. I just don't want to see it. You know, we don't, no one wants to see it escalate. We've seen so many losses in the past fucking yeah. two years like this shit started in 2020 has not stopped since and especially with someone that talented like yb who to me like yb got a lot of shit with him so i don't know if it'll be like if he would just stop then he would nah. be this or like i don't know it'll never <laughs> stop yeah <laughs> I, I think it's just funny like for me it's just this kid's on house arrest in utah yeah like if i was in anyone's shoes that he dissed i would just ignore this kid He's exactly on house arrest in utah yeah like so it's just i don't know but that's right Ego.
Little Dirk, please stay out of it, man. So it goes back to what I said earlier, man. That shit be so vulgar. But it's so much. It's art, but it's just <laughs> yeah. so vulgar. I mean, man. Gucci even came out already. I know. Don't don't Great. diss Gucci. He's crazy for real. Yeah. yeah, but I seen the Gucci just I said, you did it now. <laughs> you did it now, young boy. I mean, he was already crazy enough for dissing Boosie. Please don't bring Boosie to a 2009 mindset. Oh, man. Bro, remember Gucci's top five pussy rappers? <laughs> Oh, was it top three? I think it was top three. Sure, the was it top it three? Was like Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. <laughs> yeah, Rocco. Was he, did he say nah, T-I? T-I, G-Z, yeah, and uh, he said G-Z, Tip, and um, oh, God, I, I, I can't remember what the third one was. I think those twos are still up, too. Oh, <laughs> I don't no. think he's ever deleted them. <laughs> top three pussy rappers. That day was crazy. He said, no, I'm not hacked. I said, all right, we, <laughs> we are. <laughs> That's the day he shouted out uh, Reese LaFleur. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> sure he wasn't hacked? <laughs> So the the I'm young playing, the playing. young boy uh, that's so mind blowing to me is when I'm watching the NBA within the past weekend. You see all the Phoenix Suns players yeah. dancing around to Nevada. It's something that it's it's hard to explain because you just see young boys' presence online and it's so powering over YouTube numbers. Kids that go to bat for him and you say, well, it's not going to translate to radio. They're probably not going to play it outside. But now you see an entire NBA arena enjoying nevada with the players it's mind-blowing yeah. you don't really need traditional media at that. yeah no young boy like i i seen this shit coming it's funny like i really i was a fan of him super early yeah and i just like the way he kind of tapped into like you know what the kids were just into like the juice worlds and the x but like he really was from like i mean they were all were and i think he just really kept it going he's like really i mean he's alive at this point so yeah, yeah. kept it going but like he really just tapped into like the emotions of this generation this just was this Gen Z? Yeah, Gen. Are we in Gen Z? Yeah, Gen yeah, Z. we're in Gen Z. He's tapping yeah. into their emotions and doing it in like a way that they're just so in tune with. That Nevada is like that song shouldn't come from somebody who makes a song like I hate young. Yeah, <laughs> but it does, and it's crazy. Um, let's get into some 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 real entertainment talk. My favorite, ah, Jack Harlow. Your favorite? My favorite, man. No tech. I'm some blasting that shit. <laughs> Be our outro song. He got casted, or allegedly, according to Variety, yeah. got casted off of his first audition in the White Man Can't Jump remake. Shout out to Calmatic. Who else but him? Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Calmatic directing. Yeah. Shout out to Calmatic. When is the when the fuck is House Party coming out? Uh, soon I think. I just seen a clip of like Watch Homie Quan doing some voiceover shit. This yeah. shit is gonna be. It might. It's gonna probably be pretty good, man. So shout yeah, out to Calmatic. I, I, I need it because I know it's gonna be an HBO Max. Uh, okay. Day and date, I believe. But I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to see. Give us a. Get, but hey, again, I'm, I'm gonna see it at the Magic Johnson Theater. So. I am asking. I am asking politely. Give us some some free movie tickets and shit like that. Premieres. We need to be on the red carpet too, bro. Oh, Black yeah. print. We need I'm to be I'm there. A- a, Come on. Yeah, I'm going to be on the red carpet. <laughs> yeah, once again, I am asking. <laughs> Put us on the red carpet on House Party. party. Yeah. Let us do some press. Where, where's Kashmir at? Put us, <laughs> put, us on the, put us on the influencer list. Oh, no. Imagine if they had us out there with mics on the red carpet. I Bro. Would, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine. Oh, uh, if I could smoke. I don't know. Maybe that'd be fun. We could, we could make, I feel like we could make red carpet interviews way different so that it's. Niggas hate it, those. What, I've what been on the side of that before. That's just nasty. They don't like red carpet. Hell anymore? no, that's just nasty. It's on the artist, man, like that. Side yeah, is just it looks like, like what? When once you're in front of the step and repeat, it's, it gets scarier. They they, they want to get in their seats and get the fuck out of there for sure. Yeah. But uh, White Man Can't Jump remake. Let me let me tell you about this movie. I was really young when this movie came out. I had no clue what the fuck it was about. Hmm. Is there a reverence? For it that people would be upset about this being remade, do you no, think? I, think or? I mean, I, it's funny. It's one of the movies that was a good movie when it came out. Yeah, and I think a remake is. I mean, they were remaking everything, so yeah. it's like it ain't like anything's off limits. Yeah, especially Ros- not white man can't jump. Like, R- Rosie Perez was the thing. Yeah, in that was movie. the new Rosie Perez? Is it like Alexia Demi from uh, Euphoria? Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, see, see, I'm already casting shit over here. Of course. <laughs> This is gonna be good. <laughs> Alexa, what, what if they what if it was Sydney Sweetie though? She ain't she ain't even got the what she white. <laughs> no, and they remake and they change everything, bro. They, do, they, they, they do. change everything. They do. They'll Hopefully probably make they don't it. Do that. They I I don't know. Like who is like that? Because it would have been if we said this a couple of years before, it would have been like uh who was the chick on training day that was that was fucking with um Oh, uh, I know uh, damn, what was her what's name? What's her name, bro? Who was fucking with um Denzel's character, yeah. Lonzo. She had the baby. Yeah, I know exactly. Something I can't remember her name. It's not Eva Longoria. Was it? Yeah. Was it Eva Longoria? Look that up real quick. 
Yeah, MC, ch- check it out. Check it out uh, to Training Day. But while, we, while we get to the casting of Jack Harlow, he's going to be playing um, more than likely, or I guess it's confirmed, he's going to be playing uh, Woody Harrelson's character. Yeah. I wonder who's going to be the Wesley Snipes character. I said King Bach. <laughs> he's terrible. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen him be funny from like <laughs> YouTube or whatever the fuck he started at to now. I, I literally commercials. I've never seen him land a funny joke. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know. How, you shit on his whole Vine run. I don't know how he got. Bro, he's never been funny. Okay. Uh, well, what, what, Mark, were you about to say who it was? Uh, the Eva was half right. It was G Unit Legend Eva Mendez. Eva Mendez. G Unit Legend. She was in the smile yes. video or one of them shits. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, what if we got what if we got uh for the Wesley Snipes role, uh Desi Banks? <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kinda not mad at that. <laughs> Desi Banks would be funny. I'm kinda not mad at that. Because Wesley was a funny nigga yeah, in the movie. I'm kinda not mad at that. He, he was funny. Desi he Banks would be funny. Yeah, he can't be doing that Atlanta shit though. <laughs> <laughs> But I he kind of. But I kind of feel like a white man can't jump in this era. You gotta do a black Hollywood style. You gotta go to Atlanta. <laughs> you gotta have Desi because Drewski's gonna. You know Drewski's gonna, gonna be in that shit. Yeah, yeah is it gonna, gonna be in Atlanta? Are they, gonna re, are they gonna just move this from Venice Beach to Atlanta? It got to Venice Beach nasty. You don't do that shit. No, no, they can't even do it over there. <laughs> you don't want to do it in Venice Beach no more. That's crazy. You, like imagine getting the permit yeah, to film in Venice, in Venice Beach. They can't. You can't, bro. That's crazy. And also, like, as much as Venice looks the same, it's very much worse than probably than what it was in the 90s, bro. For real. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's going to be just going to be fucking based in Atlanta. I I believe in Comatic. I know he got what I know he he got the vision for it. But like Jack Harlow, he can really ball. So that that's that's something he could look he he could look at least believable because Woody Harrelson did not look believable in that movie whatsoever. Well, it's not kind of did. Yeah, I mean, shit, but. 90s sports clips didn't look believable in movies back in the day. It was like, them niggas ain't doing that shit. I mean, I guess, shit, maybe Sunset Park and um, what's the one? Uh, but we we mentioned this a couple weeks ago. We said, where are the, where are the, the black movies that are like this? We need a new... Is, it, is. Oh, is this it? I mean, it could be the course. beginning of it. Like, no, it is. I, I it could be the beginning of it. I, I'm mad that there's so many remakes, but mm-hmm. I, I do want to see just like some new black shit. I, it's funny that you even brought that up. I just saw, um, I went to this comedy show last weekend, I think it was. Yeah. These guys, um, I'm probably pronouncing their names terribly. Uh, Opie and Beanham are like two writers, comedians. Uh, this dude Opie had a funny ass joke about just all women being witches, <laughs> and pulling tarot cards and getting red and being hood healers and shit. Bro, I was dying. I couldn't laugh too hard, but I was, I was dying. Hey, speaking of hood healers, and I don't know if this is too touchy right now. Did you see the story about Daniel Kaluuya and and the uh, the crystals girl that he's he's been fucking with? Nah, Let, hey, 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 MC, can you bring up that article real quick? The Daniel Kaluuya and 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 he apparently it's rumored. That uh, he has basically fired all of his staff, and he's only fucking with this like fifty year old hood healer type. Uh, see, all right, send me that. <laughs> send me that, please. Hold on, hold on. We got, we got to get. But the thing is, this funny about that is that like Daniel Kaluuya is like he was somebody that was like, yo, he's next Tell up. You. And and yeah, then all witches, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. But what's crazy is that I'm not gonna say she's a witch. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say she's a witch, <laughs> but I will say that like there's there's definitely like there's certain energies yeah. that people are attracted to. But are these energies enough to make you just fire your whole management staff? Yeah, we'll see. Like that I mean he's gonna be in Jordan Peele's movie Nope. He's gonna be in a new Black Panther, which I feel like that new Black Panther is cursed in itself. Is he just still getting rolls? I mean, shit, she's doing her job. Just fuck it. We rolling. New management. <laughs> they, they said that she was she was causing all types of problems. Is she booking shit. shit though? Is she taking calls? Hold on, let me let me see. Let me see. Air holding this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna send J5 it. J five got some whole other shit. <laughs> With the shit you was talking about, I, I said I just said I just said the, the shit. shit. MC was talking. About, I'm like, nah, this is ride or die. She rolling. No, nah, no, nah, he broke up with her. He broke. This up is with the girl, her? that girl uh, that Mark's talking about. He broke up with her for this air air holiness. She's 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 self described as a headmistress for the international alma mater, blessed university. I'm just tripping off air holiness. Like she at the blessed university. Like bro, they they does she wear the jersey twenty three? <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, no, it's H E. 
H E I air like air like Eris oh. Eris hair. Yeah, he got his little crypto shit that's called hair air like some shit like. Does that. he? Yeah, I think. He oh, just, he might have got it from her, bro. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jordan just launched some crypto. They shit. They said that Kalua would fly her to Los Angeles from Las Vegas every week for spiritual healing during the Judas and the Black Messiah shooting, and I'm like, bro. That was like a low budget ass movie. You how you fly her out like that? Well, that's like, like a hundred dollar flight. That's not really that bad. I got this. <laughs> he ain't the, he ain't a young thug. I ain't flying no <laughs> girls out. No sir ski. Hey man, uh, is that true? <laughs> but, uh, come on, man. If thugs say it is this. I feel like it's, it's law. Truth. I feel like it's, it's law. It's, I feel like it's the truth. But Kalu, I'm praying for you, bro. I don't, I don't know about his air holiness. They got a picture of them on a on a uh, air balloon. This is crazy. If he happy, if he like it, I love it, bro. If you like it, I love if it. If you bro. like it, I love yeah. it. <laughs> no, so <laughs> you, inter- you interrupted my story with this witches thing. <laughs> nah. Okay, talk well, about your witches. To, no, what I was getting to was. Comedy show is fire. These niggas is actually funny. Uh, I think they're from D.C., if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. They're working on a, um, a show, like a Hulu ABC show called Bama's. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. It's about, like, some first-generation Africans. Like, that's just a story that needs to be told. I have so many African homies that are first-generation. It's yeah. like, it's just funny, like, how they, like, interact with their parents <laughs> and the family and the world. It's, yeah. it's a funny dynamic. So, looking forward to that shit. Uh, shout out to Opie <clears throat> and Beanham. Um, have you, um, yeah. did you start Bel Air, Bel Air yet? Nah, so I watched that episode. I ain't going back to it, but you know it's funny. I'm going to go back to it because one of my favorite rappers is watching it right now. Peasy, <laughs> he posted some shit. It was like a clip of um, Will and his homie from uh, from Philly yeah. came out there. Yeah, that episode four, I think. Four I or guess five. his homie's a yeah. bitch ass nigga, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Peasy was like, man, I hate bitch ass niggas like this. <laughs> I'm like, I feel you, Peasy. I'm gonna watch this shit now. MC, did you type? Did you tap in? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. I've got one more thing to watch in phase one. Set it off. We'll be watched this week, and then I'm on phase two with Beller and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. What have I been watching? Um, damn, what the fuck was I just watching the other day? I just watched something. Oh, you know what I was watched like last night to this morning? What? Just on Netflix is um, Roommates Next Door. The Roommates Next Door. Or worst shit. roommate ever? Yeah. I've been hearing about that. The first one with the grandma is crazy, man. Damn. I got to get I gotta get you and MC onto these these weird ass dating shows. Oh, man. Which ones? I like dating. I, I like Love dating. is Blind is like the craziest shit you probably ever Love is ever Blind. Seen. I might, that's on uh, Netflix? It's on Netflix. Okay, I got to check that out. Listen, I, listen. I, I hate when niggas would be like, man, I ain't watching that shit. I'm like, no, if, I'm like if your girl watching this shit, you definitely watching that shit. I, the girls I like don't watch bullshit. So. <laughs> All right. It's this nigga cap, man. We need it ain't, a, it ain't, we need like, a cap sound. Can we they, find a they cap they sound? They watching some shit, bro. They put me on. I'm like, damn. Right. They're the ones Let's that got watch you watching it. Macbeth. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, I don't know. I really like fuck the reality shows and shit like that. I rarely ever watch. Like, I ain't watch reality shows. It's like Flavor of Love. Nigga. Like, Not Josh, Flavor 15, of Love? 15, 20 years ago? I really don't watch reality shows. Like, I it's just be hard to watch sometimes. I think the last one I really watched was fucking uh, the rap one on Netflix. Oh, the uh, yeah. uh, what's what's the name? Hustling, hustling, yeah. hustling, grind. Smoke one, yeah, yeah. The D smoke on hustling, grind, whatever. They need to bring that back. That's a good idea. That's a hard. That, wouldn't you imagine that's like a hard show to kind of pull off? It is the amount of money they yeah. put into that I mean, shit. Yeah, it, it seemed like it went well. Like sure. what was it like three different or two different cities, three different cities that Netflix that, that needs to update the plan. Like I'm not even gonna give them the, the plan, yeah. but I can tell them how to update that plan and they can win. I'm just saying, I know how to update. I, like I know how to think that model through yeah. that business model. Call, call us, bro, for real. Yeah. I mean, we can tell you not. We can tell you what judges not to bring back. It's the next season. It's stupid. It's funny enough though. Uh, it was a nigga on there from Inglewood, and then his girlfriend on the show. She was on the show. I went yeah. to high school with her. I'm like, oh. You went to high school with everybody. You went to high school with, I think you said you went to high school with Karuchi, too. Middle school, yeah. Middle school with yeah, Karuchi. Yeah, yeah. Must be crazy. LA is crazy, bro. LA- <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of things that we were watching, uh, the Atlanta trailer, season three. Uh, season four, I believe, does premiere later on this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this this starts in about two weeks from the, from the moment we're recording this show. Uh, I like the trailer. I thought the trailer was really good. It was cool. It's funny. I was thinking about it earlier today, and like it reminds me of like um, Atlanta meets uh, Wes Anderson. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like the Darjeeling, the, the Darjeeling Limited type shit. Yeah, the visually how it looked, just the shit that was going on, the yeah. places they were at. I'm like, these niggas in London. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. So it was well, just, well, it picks up after season two left off with like that scene. I think everyone on Twitter talked about the scene where he he had like the gun and he put it on the white dude, and and then like yeah. they were able to get on the flight and stuff like that. So I'm guessing it continues from that. But my question is that like it's been like four or five years 
since season two, these people are so different. Like, it's so weird well, to look at them now. And that's I'm like, that's another thing that I was chipping out off. I'm yeah. like, yo, every character looks like themselves. It yeah. Like Donald Glover, <laughs> Lakeith Stanfield, and then I always forget Paper was. Paper was uh, Brian Tyree Henry. Brian Tyree yeah, Henry. He was in, he was yeah. in Chucky. I liked him in Chucky. Yeah, but so. um, it, it's like weird because like they've become so synonymous with different things now. So it's like yeah. when I see it's Paperboy, I'm like, nah, that's. That's a nigga from Eternals, yeah, or that's, that's a nigga from <laughs> Macbeth. He's yeah. a Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they, but this isn't a bad thing. It's yeah. just that it's like I wonder how they're gonna, you know, put us in these characters' shoes again. And it's like you know, a lot of things have changed in that. How do you think they're gonna kind of address it? Like obviously, like stuff like George Floyd has happened. Um, you know, that political upheaval has happened. Does this kind of? I, I, I'm not worried about it talking about these things, but it's like what what things? Well, is there a pressure that it will talk about them? Well, it's funny. It's funny you even brought that up because I don't even know if you'll touch on that. I feel like some of these shows and like some of these creators, I'm like, I feel like they don't, I don't like, I don't even think that show carries the burden of having to do no, that. Yeah, do that. Like that's not the, the task of that show. But to that point, I feel like the show being overseas now kind of takes away the Atlanta aspect, which yeah. I thought was always cool. Like Atlanta was like a character in the show, like yeah. just little things that happen and people that popped up. And do they go back? Is yeah. The, is the so it's yeah. just, that's the interesting part to me. I'm like, uh, how does that kind of play into it? Cause I, I think, you know, the show's called Atlanta. I want to still have that, um, that bit of culture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want it to be too, too highbrow, too artsy. Um, Atlanta also has a lot of copycats. Oh yeah, well, what shows do you think of the Atlanta Cowboys? Some, guys? some on the same network as it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, how does it break free from that this time? That's another question. That's like, what I'm saying. Too. These like, are big even, questions that we have. Even just like, you know, uh, it's just even just kind of moving scenery like Atlanta. Something, yeah. There's something unique about Atlanta. Absolutely. You can't copy that. Yeah. Moving to fucking London is easy to replicate and copy that in different yeah. places. So I don't know. It's interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see this season. Donald and that team are fucking highly creative and smart as well, fuck. <laughs> well, well oiled machine. Yeah, just in so. terms of, I like the camera. Like I watch FX a lot because I'm catching up on Snowfall right now. And I mean, even shows like Snowfall that have happened since yeah. Atlanta has come up. It's just like yeah. yo, like FX is a different Snowfall network. Is, man, what's the uh, snow? Well, actually, I like Snow. I watched the first two episodes. Oh, do you watch Snowfall? I do. Okay. I'm, I'm catching up. I didn't like last season. Okay. Not gonna lie to you. I thought last season was kind of like, but I, I I didn't think it was on the writing. I think that COVID might have just. Gave it. It was just tough yeah. to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it. I didn't blame it on. But season season five so far so far so it's far cool. so good. Everybody kind of hating on it, but I feel like they just they had like some quick things they need to wrap up. And they yeah, just yeah. Were like, let's just wrap this up in some crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring you back. Let's do this. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how did, that shouldn't have happened that fast. That cool, but all right. It got to it got to like the third episode. I'm like, all right, yeah, I figured it, it out. It kind of calmed itself yeah. down, and, and, it, and it's like when I looked at the last uh, the last season, I was like, listen, I'm just glad that I got something to watch. Because you. of everything that was going on, yeah. it was kind of noticeable that they were only had like three or four different locations last season. <laughs> and I saw that they had kind of like rebuilt everything. And and I just, you know, I'm I'm in all production. Like that's why I, I, you know, I can't be too harsh on it, even if I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But the performances, man, how could you, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all everyone on that is, is so good. But with Atlanta, like, you know, I, I think that there's again his team is just so well oiled, right down to like the commercials and stuff like that. I think are really really good, and it's like everything is just well thought out. So as much as I'm like, okay, how are they going to answer these questions that I have? I'm more interested in seeing what the first episode does. Cause I'm pretty sure they're going to answer that for me. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to that team, Atlanta, March 24th. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, if there's a red carpet, hey, we <laughs> here. We'll we'll get the mic out <laughs> in front of the step and repeat, bro. No, nigga, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> But in between that, in between the last, and this is kind of like our big picture topic of the week here, in between all of that, a fucking war happened. <laughs> Man, hey. It's crazy you just brought this up. I was literally just thinking about this. Like, yeah. while we were just talking about Atlanta, I don't know why I just started thinking about Ukraine. Because they're in fucking Europe. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're over there. And I think that it's like, again, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like our generation from people who were born from like probably like 87 on – We've gone through so much like traumatic shit that you got to unpack yeah. in your life. And and I feel like this is just another one on top of it. It's like we still have a pandemic raging. We still have, you know, just all this bullshit. Like there's so many different ways that people can have problems with the world right now. Like yeah. sometimes it could get really kind of tiring. Yeah. No, bro. I, you know what I remember when I was really young? It was like elementary. Remember when we was in war in like Yugoslavia or some shit? Yeah. We was fucking them niggas up. <laughs> 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 American, like, bro, this shit was looking like. 
Ukraine right now. I'm like, hey, this shit look familiar. We was doing this at one point, right? <laughs> so I feel you to that point. I'm like, man, I'm just, I ain't been through so much. Exactly. Yeah, they get the what, same, uh, is it wrong? And I hate to even say this. Okay, I'm not trying to be yeah. fucked up. Like this is Black Print Safe Space hashtag yeah. Safe Space. Who's is it is? wrong? <laughs> is it wrong for like certain people to just be like, ah, I can't. I don't have the. I don't have the mental. No, I mean space for this right now. <laughs> it's not wrong. We all deal with things on different levels. Yeah. Um. I think if you have the chance and you you know want to educate yourself on what's going on for sure. It's interesting. I've seen my friends kind of educate themselves on it, mm-hmm. and like they've come out and been like, "Damn, look at what's going on!" And now they're like super educated on the topic now. Yeah. So I appreciate that sentiment. Um, for me, some of these politics kind of go over my head. I'm not yeah. really even exactly sure what the hell is going on. When it gets I, to like land, like the Israel Palestine shit, my whole life I stayed out that shit. I'm like, I don't yeah, know. I don't really know. <laughs> Nigga, either, I, yeah. I don't know. And it's not like that's not even trying to be. Ign- I'm not willingly being ignorant about it. I but know, it's like, but it's like hey, I kind of know, honestly. Yeah, but it's like. Nigga, I don't, nigga. <laughs> this, is, it, is it a different like because you know what's, what's funny about like the type of activism that we see now it's like you don't see like a bunch of like niggas really like getting into that shit like yeah I mean yeah, well because then you see you get into it and then like the Ukraine thing and yeah. then you see they're not letting Africans out the country that's true and you're yeah. like damn nigga, I'm trying to I'm riding for y'all yeah, niggas you know like, what I'm saying like there, there's so much to, to do with like there. I feel like there's a war on two fronts here right there's a war between, or three, four fronts. Like, there's obviously the war over there, but even over here, there's a war between us as black yeah, people. A, I feel like it's an information war. And yeah. that's kind of where it starts at for me. It's like the information we're given and the information we're receiving. And like, yeah. that's what makes it difficult to have an educated opinion or feeling on these things. Right. So it's interesting. Like, it's hard as a black person to kind of be in the middle of these some of these conversations sometimes. But I think we should take that initiative because... We want that same support. And yeah. I think at the end of the day, like, um, you know, our wrongdoing is is not, I mean, it's just as bad as anyone else's. Yeah. And like, we got to, you know, if you see wrong, you got to point it out. So I'm not, I'm a one of those people who like, I try to lend support where I can. Yeah. But I'm also like one of those people, like, I'm not super vocal right. about political shit and things like that. And, so. and that's fine. And, and I think that like, I just get, t- I get tired of like, I feel like 2020 like it extracted every bit of care because like 2020 we yeah. was on edge niggas was dying we had an election like think about yeah. this shit josh we had a pandemic and an election in the same fucking year it's just crazy I, we ain't never had no shit like that before yeah. and and it's like we we lived through shit like 9 11 we lived through all types of that shit like i don't blame gen z for probably growing up fucked up because these are kids that didn't oh, even get yeah. to, to graduate Bro, and shit like that just, even kids like just how they interact with the world now like yeah. wearing masks and like i've seen something where it's like a little like these kids thought it was like a a, a hand like a alcohol dispenser like yeah. a, a hand sanitizer dispenser they thought it was just like it was like some little toy type thing yeah but they were putting their hands up to it like so was, thinking, oh, that's yeah, sad that's like, that's sad they're just living in a different yeah. world like yeah. yeah i'm living in a different world i went out to eat yesterday i forgot my mask and then it was like, oh, it's no thing no more. Y'all need a mask. I'm like, shit. <laughs> like, I feel dangerous. Hey, man. I saw, saw Batman. Look, I tested myself before I came over here. But it's, it's negative. Hey. Uh, but uh, listen, man. Saw Batman. Toss my shit, man. Listen, man. It's Toss over it in the air like a graduation <laughs> cap. <laughs> listen, man. Batman mask on. Listen, man. Ch- chill, bro. Like, this shit. But it's like, again, it's like, how do people, like, how do people kind of construct their own type of life around this like I, I can't like this shit no more or as i can't follow it's like i, I like you gotta care about this and it's like sometimes I got, I got a lot of shit going on in my life bro i, I don't have room to like fit yeah. in everything it's like shit in my own city in my own life this fucked up I right now you, no, you know I what i'm you. saying yeah and, I, and yeah you gotta start with your home first in your community so i totally understand that like my heart is out with ukraine but it's like it's also like when, what do, when do we solve kind of the, like we, we had a conversation two weeks ago about Black people not getting paid what they what they want to get paid. There's a there's an equality yeah. gap, a yeah. wage gap. It's all type of gaps <laughs> with, yeah, with us right now. It's like gaps. I saw so many people after last week's episode be like, "I'm so glad you guys talked about this because it made me want to go advocate for myself and do that, or go advocate he, for my friend and do that." It's crazy you just mentioned this. I'm gonna send you this too. Uh, I just got this thing. It's like going around the music industry. I guess it started with like the Hollywood entertainment industry. It was like a um, it's a Google sheet. Yeah, where you're anonymously put in like how much you make. Yeah, and like. You know, just like it's like some little notes in there, like how old you are, you're, you know, male, yeah. female, black, ethnicity, whatever it is. And it was a ton of people on there. And wow. it was so many like the disparity was crazy wow. just seeing this. And like, I think, you know, it goes back to our conversation, just like the uh, just the pay gap. Yeah. Amongst just 
people. <laughs> it's yeah. like, and it's like one. It's the thing that we need to be a little more vocal about because, you know, I, people are trying to get over. Right. They yeah. they will. They they, they will. really will. They really will. And it, it's like it is you know to to tie that back into like this conversation. It's like this shit blew up so quick, and everyone was at like, World War Three, and I was like, nigga. I felt like World War Three for the past two years, yeah. bro. Like it, 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 that's just is what it is, bro. Yeah. Like it, it is. But then you get people getting mad, and I don't know if you see this. People getting mad at people making jokes about the war. <laughs> I haven't seen the people getting mad, but I have seen all the jokes, and the, the jokes are crazy. But listen, TikTok is crazy, bro. Like yeah. there was a there was a TikTok I saw where a nigga said this, uh, when he get when you, when he was like acting like he was riding around in one of the the caravans, he was trying to look for something to play on his aux cord and he got shot up. And I said, all right, man. Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> Gen Z is, this is what Gen yeah, Z thinks of war, kids, bro. But, I mean, but because then you see the reports of the war on TikTok. Like, right. you're seeing people in Ukraine, like, yeah. posting on their TikTok mm-hmm. and all this shit going on. So it's like, it's just that even lowers the barrier of, yeah. like, of fucking, I don't even know. Access. Like, yeah, access. Because back in the day. Yeah, back in the, the day. of empathy. Like, we, we don't see, back in the day on CNN, we'd see it like, okay, this happened maybe an hour ago. And on Instagram and Twitter, we're seeing it live, just like we saw it live in 2020, uh-huh. like we saw it live in 2013, like we saw it live everywhere else. Like, how we consume this shit, when I was... 15 I could have never imagined no shit like this bro like uh, we're getting it we're getting it way too advanced right now bro like it's, crazy. it's, it's, it's stupid as hell man I'm, I've like you know I, I always so I trip off of this I've seen so many people die on the internet yeah too in many life like how like why is that a thing like yeah. I've seen like just so many people die on the internet the most I think the most crazy shit that I've seen was the ex death yeah, X. I was about to just say I've seen crazy. rappers X. Yeah, Draco the Ruler. Like I've seen rappers yeah. on the internet. Like it's just crazy. And then, but the thing is, like me and you go about our life. We, we talk yeah, like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we we talk like this. It's 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 crazy. And and you know it, it it is definitely something where it's like, all right, we are in a war, but you know a lot of people are legitimately warring in their own head right now. Yeah. We don't even people don't even talk about it. So this is it's crazy. Um, remember Rotten.com. Yes. And the Tupac autopsy. Yeah. <laughs> that was as bad as it was back in the day. And then you find out later on is, is that that was definitely not like how a real a human body is supposed to look. That was a Tupac? No. Man, that was Tupac. <laughs> Don't tell me that was a Tupac. That was, Tupac that was not Tupac, bro. bro. That was definitely Tupac. Why were you on Rotten.com? Yeah, why not? Were you on somethingawful.com too? I don't know. Maybe. That sounds familiar. Something Awful was, was really like, hey. Okay, I probably well, I was wasn't that deep. Rod.com was as deep as I kind of got. I wasn't like one of them little weird ass little fetish, not fetish, what they call it, snuff film. Snuff kids. film. Cause that, like, that shit damn used to scare me. Like, MC, was you on was you on Rotten? Were you on something awful? Where, where was you at, bro? Uh, I would definitely be on Rotten.com from time to time. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I would even look for. God, this is, this is why our generation is so f- f- fucked up from the amount of things that we've seen. Like, we would literally go on this site about beheadings from another site, and then we'd go look up the beheadings. Yeah. <laughs> when they would talk about it and be like, yeah. wait, what happened? Huh? Uh, I remember those. What, what prisoner? I got to take a look at this. I remember those popping up. I'm like, those would be on Rodden and shit. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, like, that's why I'm like, nigga, that was the first time seeing that shit. But do y'all remember Newgrounds? Yeah. Like, I'm just naming those shit. Yeah. Newgrounds, Newgrounds is, is like classic some, yeah, gaming. Yeah, that was like some classic comedy bullshit video <laughs> game. I, but now Newgrounds is Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Newgrounds yeah. is like, listen, I don't want to ever scroll my Twitter, my Twitter feed at work or around huh. people in an office because they would liable to see any fucking thing and these niggas will, will put on my fucking timeline what any given fuck? day. Like Twitter don't give a fuck about nothing. They'll, they don't true. give a shit about nothing. That's true. Like to even TikTok is kind of just like yeah, they find true. ways to work around it on TikTok and shit like that. Like that's a nasty app. Mark doesn't use TikTok, but I keep telling him like Instagram Mark, don't got it no you more. You would go crazy on TikTok. That's what I'm saying. Nah, I don't know, man. It's, I know you well enough it's, to it's know. Too threatening, nah, man. You once nah. you figure it out and <laughs> find your algorithm. Listen, let me let me send you some shit. And you'll be right on TikTok, bro. I'm telling you. Yo, Cyrus sends me at least 30 TikToks a day. So there's that. <laughs> then there's the fact that, well, you know what it is for me? I think I get intimidated looking at where to create the video. And then they have all the settings. Of you but you do don't got to do that. And you got the I don't make times, videos. And you got all the different things that you can do. I don't do. make videos. I just browse. Yeah, I don't make no videos either. <laughs> oh, browsing? Yeah. Yes, browsing. I'll jump on a TikTok from time to time and watch uh, a good amount of videos. Random shit, some funny shit, uh, some cooking stuff. I think that's really, I guess that's what make people come back a whole lot with TikTok, right? The fact that you can just be 
and have complete anonymity and just jump on there and enjoy whatever you want because with instagram facebook you kind of have to tie yourself to that identity and be yourself yeah. and share yourself because if you're not doing that nobody's really fuck with you twitter is kind of like a, a happy medium of that i guess you would say but tiktok you could just be completely anonymous and enjoy and learn different things from all of the pieces of the world and it's probably why it has so much retention because when it comes to apps like vine obviously vine had its classic moments but you can see you know, TikTok has outlived that a whole lot more. Vine was crazy. Vine yeah. was crazy. Listen, I did a couple of Vine. I wonder if I can find them. They're not good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good Vine. I, I just did a couple I, of them. I made a couple of Vines. <laughs> Vine creating wasn't really that intimidating. TikTok creating, for sure intimidating. These niggas be... These niggas be Steven Spielberg with the yeah, motherfucking TikToks, Yeah, these bitch running laps around me, it. bro. I can't do it. I can't get with it, bro. But, um... Yeah, that that was that was our big picture segment, man. Yeah, I just want I just want everybody to protect their mental, man. Protect their mental. If you if you got to stay off offline, does not see some of this bullshit, do so because it's crazy out there. People will put anything in your timelines, and if you don't, you know, if if you don't feel like you know you want to deal with this war shit, you're not alone. <laughs> All right, a lot of people don't really want to fucking think about it either. But at the end of the day, uh, that, that's that's where we stand on it, and I, and I think that's that's this episode for this week. We we we, we reached an hour already. Man, that was quick. It was a quick hour. It was a good hour, though. It was we a good should hour. end this with um, You Are Not Alone. That Michael Jackson song? Y'all remember that? You want to end it uh, on that? You want to end on that note? I was, nah, I don't want to end it on that. <laughs> Actually, but that's a great song, though. I got a good question, but I don't know if we I don't know if we should leave it for this. So I've been talking to people about a Michael Jackson versus Prince versus. Oh, <laughs> That'd be amazing. And how, like, my fiance is a huge Prince fan. You know this. Like, yeah. she loves Prince to death. She's like, oh, Prince is going to blow him out the water. And I'm like, ah. I don't know. I think be clear. I think Prince would win, but it would not be as no, it, it, would, be it would not Mike, be as blowout. Be trying to play Mike, but Mike, nigga, come on, he got Mike, some, he he got got some hits. Bangers, yeah. If he didn't have the allegations, Prince, hashtag allegations, Prince is just like nigga, real like Prince is like a full band by himself. Like he just do shit. But but that don't mean that he can't like. I, I think there are certain songs, and, and we might have to have a blowout conversation with it, with song example. Maybe yeah, we do have our Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, but I think that I think that through. The length of his of the catalog for Prince that would have him win because he could pull something out of anywhere. Yeah, and Mike has like two eras that he could do. Yeah, I mean, shit, Mike got a little his little hip hop bag when he was making a little shit with like fucking uh, what's that butterflies and shit like that. Yeah, like he really Mike got some shit, but come on, man, Prince is a goat. <laughs> see, see, we me and Mark me and Mark talked about it, me and MC talked about it last night too, and I'm just like I, I gotta I gotta really get this off the ground. We gotta we gotta we gotta pull some songs, but uh, thank you guys for listening. To the black print Of course you can subscribe To our Patreon We're going to be doing The Q&A B-Sides uh, episode This week And uh, yeah we, we got a lot of shit On there coming up uh, Josh is supposed He's supposed to be Putting the shirts out Oh yeah For that tier We're going to be posting And fucking with you guys On the, on the actual page yeah. I'm going to jump in the chat and Start talking to y'all Fucking around Throwing up gang signs <laughs> Gang signs on the Patreon <laughs> uh, But of course As always You can follow me At OG Johnny 5 On Twitter Instagram As well as Josh Josh 10 P's on Twitter and Instagram. Follow uh, Mark as well at my man MC on Twitter and Instagram as well. Uh, so until uh, next time, we will be seeing you guys uh, later. I, are we going to have a guest next time? I don't know. Yeah, we will. Uh, people, it's funny. People keep asking me, but I'm like, man, like, let me, uh, like, y'all got to wait for when we go, when we got the thing. Yeah. Man, y'all forgot about the announcement. We mentioned it every episode. <laughs> we mentioned this one too. Yeah. That's <laughs> coming soon, baby. <laughs> so uh, for, for Josh and uh, MC, I'm Justin. See you guys next time on the Black Bridge. If down now, pair shoes, you don't even know. If down now, pair lane, you don't even know. The cannon, the just cannon. have me no car, you don't even know. I came up from bottom, you don't even know. That's back. My niggas all right with me, you don't even know. Got killers with me right now, you don't even know. This million dollar watch, nigga, you don't even know.